Okay, I just thought I'd do a short video of my workshop, my artist studio, if you will. I've been calling it my lab because I'm a disabled software engineer. Got this old computer. It was actually given to me by my job and I worked at Datatrade. It's running Linux now. And then I got all this stuff. I'm going to explain what this is just briefly. Today we are featuring Glow in the Dark. So I have my black light up here. And I also have a portable UV down here. Okay, so let's turn this light off. Now you can see it looks a lot different in here. And no, that is not the computer. The computer is over there. <laughs> um, so what do we got here? Uh, these are kind of cool. These are just a flask that I use glow-in-the-dark paint on the bottom and it causes it to look like it's on fire. Uh, and then the same here. I am going to leave the UV light on while I'm doing this or the black light is going to stay on while I'm filming. And then I'll turn it off for you. There's my favorite company in the world for glow in the dark is Glow Ink. This is the blue sand. Uh, and I've got the, a few of the powders here. I just ordered a mystery powder <laughs> on their clearance sale. Well, and that was not showing up too well. There we go. Now you can see that that's red. It's got zinc red. I've got at least one of these labeled, so I know what's what. And there's the pure, pure blue going the dark, V10 going the dark. And I got the same thing as the ultra green sand bubble. And going the dark sand. And I've been making these little bottles. Had this idea to make these. And there are some other videos because I take these wire work tools over here. Whoa, there we go. I got these wire working tools and yes, next on my list is to get a pegboard in here. <laughs> okay, let's go back to glow here. So here's some glow in the dark paints. Um, I got glow in the dark paints from different manufacturers, but again, if you see one that's going better, it's going to be glow ink. Now you can't tell when the light's on. They're all going to look pretty good, with some exceptions. These are just some paint chips and some glow in the dark string, and then uh, it's like purple. And it's, uh, oh, another purple. Okay, now my walking stick here. Famous glow in the dark walking stick. It has glow in the dark all the way down. Showing up pretty good. So, all right. Now let's let's go back over here. Let's turn this light off. Okay. Now everything's a goal. This is actually what I'm seeing, and these are so bright. They're coming out white on the video. It actually looks blue to me. Uh, and then the red doesn't glow very long. The blue and the green do though, and different colors too. Uh, the green glows the longest and you can go to glowink.com and look at their website now these are from another manufacturer I'm not going to mention names here because I mean these just don't glow as long so as you can see I'm getting kind of serious about my glow this bottle is invisible ink okay so when I sit down here see that this is still glowing. The, the cooler colors don't glow very long. I don't have it on there very thick. I mean the paint's not very thick. The thicker you apply it the longer it glows. And that monitor is still on but I'm just not filming. Oh you know what actually you can see the colors better. I'm just turning on the light. 
I turned all the fans off. I'm in the basement here, but we're right next to the room with the heater. Oh yeah, and I did a test chart of the different colors here that I had. That was actually the first order that I got. That was some of the first colors I got, but you can see that I think it's really cool. Yeah, I'm trying to light that car. Oh. <laughs> they got the eye in the sky. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the UV back on so you can see again that these are just paint that I actually I painted it on this uh, plastic the sterilite type of plastic also then I want to show you when the, when I turn that light on the, these get the red colors show up way better and I want to take the the you can see the red the light comes up, and that's all from what's on the bottom here. It's all... I just get that much paint. And it, it comes up, it lights up, it actually does light up the top, and I'm actually seeing that. And when I turn the, the black light off, I see that for a little bit. But it's like some of the colors just go away almost instantly. Well, and they're not charged fully. Like there, that's better. You can see the purple now. That's true. That one's actually an empty. And it's still going that much. I mean, you know, the paint's out. And there's, well, there's a little bit of light down here from the other rooms coming in. But these are, this is what I'm seeing, folks. What do you think? Okay, turn the light back on. Now I want to zoom in here, show you this camera. And I'll also show you that part of these ideas came from this Jim Holtz ideology. This was the first uh, cork vials I saw that gave me the idea for the bottled light series. And I used a couple of those. Uh, totally forgot. I'm such a fan of Glow. And I'm such a fan of the ultra green I bought a quart I was tempted to buy a gallon but this stuff's expensive uh, this right here is over hundred dollars and you need to apply it uh, what do they say five-eighths of an inch thick um, so I mean that's gonna be pretty thick Okay, okay, just from the time of the talk, see how much it glowed up, just from the black light and that light. Because it wasn't getting any light over there. But of course, if I charge it directly, kind of fun to do. Charge it with the UV light again. There we go. <laughs> Don't you like to read that label? How about that?
And now these are the day, day color glow, I think is what they call those. But look at the difference. I mean, okay, this is obviously, even the purple that I said didn't glow very right long, it's still going crazy. And the, and that one is pretty good. That blue there, that's another manufacturer. It's good, except it doesn't flow as long. It is a lot cheaper. Um, and the sand is expensive too. You can find all of this on their Amazon shop or just go to glowing.com. And oh yeah, I forgot there's a little one. Started to make a glow in the dark S for Scotland. I found out, well, I did it differently, so, and I did it better. Now I make one for even two. This is my walking stick with the black light on. Okay. And I'm always careful to say if something's with the black light on or not. Uh, and then there's some parts going up here, and then of course the eye. Now the eye is facing away from the black one. Okay, the black light off. Yeah, this camera doesn't do justice on this, really. Oh. And by the way... I have... Well... Somewhere here. <laughs> sure, what was the dark now? 